And I knew about the trees, but I think just the many, many different projects that there are. It's people from America that says we believe in you. We are going to help you. You can't take it for granted that Israel will always be there. We must keep Israel strong. I fought in the war in Gaza, I fought in the war in Lebanon. We were released from the army and then we asked ourselves what is our connection to this land. It was desert, it was neglected part of Israel. But for us, we saw cities, we saw communities, we saw life. The location of Karmit is a strategic location because of the fact that this is the heart, this is the hub of the Negev. Road number six is going to reach here. A big train station is going to be built here. The intelligent army base is going to move from the center of Israel to the community of Karmit. And there are going to be more than 2,000 engineers that are going to follow this movement. And we must be ready here in Karmit to observe the young generation of Israel. And that's why we picked up this location in this time and we built Karmit. The American community is playing a very large, very great role in this uh, big operation. We are now facing the next phase of the establishment of Israel. It's a huge operation. You need as much people, as much energy, as much resources as you can get. It's housing, it's education, it's jobs. We call it uh, the full package. There are days that uh, maybe it's funny to say or said, but the only one that you see with you on the hill people from America that says we believe in you, we are going to help you. Nothing can stop this project because you cannot stop the spirit. It's only the beginning. Together with the JNF, we are going to bring these 300,000 people to the Negev that will bring life. They are the keepers of the land of Israel.